Imagine writing a check for a little more than $100 and then seeing someone tried to cash it for a few thousand dollars. Well, that happened to one Lakeview resident recently and she learned she wasn't alone. Danny Monteverdi has the story. It was the usual 1130 AM mail collection at West Harrison in Fleur de Lee on Friday. Michelle Rees drops by that West mailbox Harrison. often. And so I come over here fairly frequently to deposit checks into this mailbox. Recently, one of those checks raised a red flag. She shared a copy of it with Eyewitness News. It was originally for $150. Now it's for nearly 5000 And the name on it is this not is the exactly one written on I the check it. when it went into the mailbox. I've never heard of this person, tried to look up this person, couldn't find any information on them. I don't even know if they're a real person. Rees quickly alerted her bank and the post office. She also posted about it on social media. So I figured that other people might be putting checks in there and that it wasn't safe and I just wanted to let them know. And I was surprised when I got all these responses back. She More quickly learned she wasn't alone. Cisco Gonzalez says he put a check in the mailbox in the 100 block of Robert E. Lee on August 10th. As this surveillance video shows, someone pulled up a little after 1 a.m. on August 11th, opened the box, and took the mail, including the check from his family's business. And it was made out for $460, and they whited it out. They wrote the check out for $3,460. What happened to Reese and Gonzalez is known as check washing. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service says chemicals can be used to remove ink. A simple tip they suggest, put mail in a box just before it's set to be picked up. Ree says she won't be back to this box or any. Absolutely not. I will not be coming back to this one. And I think that from now on, I'm going to go inside of the post office to mail anything that I need to mail. Better safe than sorry. Exactly. Reporting in Lakeview, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. The post office did not respond to our request for comment on this story. Stealing mail is a federal offense and can carry up to five years in prison as well as fines.